Hello Egg Chasers, uh, Tim here and if you haven't already do hit subscribe in your feed, hit like, share and leave your comments on this as we talk about Lions selection and what Warren Gatlin said about how England's clubs giving him less availability to players may affect some of his decisions when it comes to selection. I think this is a bit of a storm in a teacup and I think this is quite simple to explain as I will get into uh, but it has caused quite a few people uh, to talk in the last few days and quite a bit of consternation as well. So let's read about this story then. And this one in the Telegraph from Daniel Schofield. And it says, Warren Gatland says England stars could miss the Lions tour if Premiership blocks players release. Gatland claims a block on players from all 12 teams until after the competition's final on June the 26th could affect up to 20 choices. So the subheading there highlights what this is. This isn't just a case that the teams involved in the Premiership final wouldn't be available to Warren Gatland. And the first warm-up game for the Lions against Japan happens on the same day, June the 26th. It wouldn't just be, as it stands, that he wouldn't have availability to those players involved. And let's say it was Exeter versus Bristol. That would be Stuart Hogg and Henry Slade and Luke Cowan Dickey. And for Bristol, uh, maybe Kyle Sinclair, for example. It wouldn't just not have availability to those guys. This is actually all 12 Premiership clubs. In fact, this is all 13 Premiership clubs that this actually affects even those not involved in the Premiership final, and even Saracens, currently in the Championship, they are a Premier League rugby shareholder and therefore are involved in this as well. So all those Saracens players, Maru Itoji, Jamie George, Owen Farrell, etc., uh, Billy and Mako Vinopola, all tied up in this. So let's have a look at what uh, Warren Gatland has actually said. We get onto his quotes. He says, We are looking at going to Jersey for a two-week camp so the last thing I'd want is for players to miss out on the tour because of not being available for that. I'm just hoping we can get some resolution and common sense will prevail so we don't have to go through the squad, start looking at 50-50 calls on players and thinking, well, he's based in England, so unfortunately he's not going to be available to us. There are some tough calls to make and I'll be looking at it and thinking, is it two weeks preparation for that game and the tour uh, better than trying to put a squad together at the last minute? to get on a plane and play the following week. Is that going to be a harder challenge than actually picking players who you can work and prepare with? I think I know what's going on here. So Rob Baxter today, uh, another article in The Telegraph actually, although I think it's been reported elsewhere, but Rob Baxter said he thinks Warren Gatlin's comments are disingenuous for the simple reason that he has known about this for over a year. These arrangements with premiership clubs was settled a year ago. And so to start complaining about it now, Rob Baxter's words, disingenuous. I totally agree. I also understand what Warren Gatland is saying. It does have a knock-on effect to selection and he might have to factor that in. But I think it's fairly simple what's going on here. And in a word, money is what's going on here. Surprise, surprise. Welcome to professional sport. What's going on here? Can you, I can't imagine for a minute Gloucester are going to say to Johnny May or Lewis Rees Summit, sorry guys, you need to stay with us till June the 26th. Uh, you can't go to the Lions two weeks early, um, assuming Gloucester aren't going to get into the playoffs, which they won't. That's not going to happen, is it? George Skivington's going to go, off you go, Lewis, off you go, Johnny May and whoever else. Go have a great time with the Lions. Promote our club, promote yourselves. Of course they're going to do that. There's, there's no way Gloucester or, or any club not involved in the Premiership final is going to hold back their players from being involved in the Lions. But that's exactly where we are right now because Premier Premiership rugby clubs want some cash from the Lions. And I think they deserve it as well. And I think this is just brinkmanship that's going on. So actually, when you're looking at this story... Don't get into the weeds of going, oh, this is going to happen and this is going to mean this England player doesn't get picked or does get picked. It's, that's not what's happening here. What's happening here is that two parties are playing poker with each other and trying to bluff the other one or trying to find a compromise. And a compromise will be found, I guarantee. Probably the Lions will end up stumping up a little bit of money to have players for that two-week period. And before anyone starts complaining that that's wrong of premiership clubs to get money for that, no, it's absolutely right, because this is about uh, official world rugby-sanctioned international periods, which the Lions Tour is, but up until June the 26th, it is not. 
So it's only right and proper. Premiership clubs spend a lot of money on these guys that are good enough to go on a Lions tour. And if someone else wants their services for some of the time they're contractually paid for to be there at Exeter Chiefs or Gloucester or wherever, Leicester Tigers, quite right. Lions should stump up. And they will. I just think Warren Gatland and Premiership Club bosses like Rob Baxter and stuff are currently engaged in a little bit of brinkmanship and a little bit of jockeying to try and get a fair assessment. This is not going to affect selection at all. I'm absolutely convinced it's not. But Lions need to stump up a little bit of cash and everyone should just be honest about what's going on. But at the minute, that's not what we're seeing. There you go. I've sorted it. Solved it. Non-story. Move on. See you on the next video.